All right, let's talk about how to speed up Windows 7. One of the things you're going to do, you're going to go to My Computer. Okay, now that we're into My Computer, you're going to select the uh, C drive. You're going to go down to Properties. When Properties comes up, you're going to go to Tools, and you're going to click on Defragmentation. One of the things that cause a computer to go slow is when the disk is defragmented. In my case, I don't need to do it right now because I'm showing 3% fragmentation, so that's not bad, but that's one of the things that you're going to do to speed up the computer. Another thing that you would do is to run an error check. You would hit check now. The computer is going to check all the errors that it can right now, and then it's going to ask you to restart the computer in order to, to check the rest of the errors. Another thing that you could do to speed up the computer, you'll go to start, then run. And when you get to run, you're going to type in msconfig. I'm going to click OK. Now, with the msconfig, we do not want our computer to start up with a normal startup. We don't want that. We want to set the computer up to have a selective startup. So now, this is already selected on my computer. Now I'm going to click on the Startup tab, and I'll just uh, expand this here. You see the check mark here. Uh, I have my my NVIDIA, my Synaptics driver, uh, my gaming software for Logitech and uh, Xbox 360. Well, those are the things that I want to start when when I'm starting my computer. Now, as I scroll down, you're going to notice that there's a lot of things that do not have a check mark. Now, the reason they don't have a check mark is because I don't want them to start when I start my computer, such as the Toshiba flashcards, the Adobe Assistant. I have all of these unchecked, and I'm just going to scroll down so you guys could see, you know, DivX Update, um, iTunes, um, just whatever that you do not commonly use, you want to uncheck it. But if you're not sure what it is, don't uncheck it because you might be unchecking something that's vital to your computer. So once you've unchecked all of this stuff, well, all of the stuff that you don't need, you're going to click Apply and OK. Now I'm going to scroll back up just to let you guys see how much stuff that I have that's unchecked. There's a lot of stuff here that, that is unchecked. I could just keep scrolling and, and you can see a lot of stuff unchecked now I'm gonna show you something else I'm gonna click on services now when I click on services it's not a necessity that that you let all the Microsoft services run but what I like to do when I'm checking this thing out is I like to hit this little button here that says hide all Microsoft services because I wanna start knocking off like the third-party services first so I want to start to uncheck the unnecessary third-party services. Services are, are programs that's taking up CPU power and um, memory on your computer as well. So you can see here I have a lot of stuff that's actually unchecked. Just a lot of stuff unchecked. And then once you, once you finish making your decisions as far as the startup programs, as far as the services, you're going to click apply and then OK. Now I'm going to show you something else that you could check that will speed up your computer and this one is very good. So you're going to click on start then you go to my computer then you're going to right mouse click my computer and you're going to go down to manage. What manage is going to do it's going to it's going to open up a section where you could tell the computer what services to start and what services not to start. You could even tell the computer how you want it to start certain services. So basically, if you want your computer to start up fast, you could actually set some of the, the services that you're going to need. Let's say, for example, like print spooler. That allows you to print. You could set that service up to have a delayed start. So that comes in really handy. So we're in the computer management area. What we're going to do, we're going to click on the little arrow for services and applications. Then we click on services. Now it loads up a whole list of all the services that we have. And I just want you to notice that 
it says whether or not they're started it says whether or not that it's disabled manual or automatic so let's say the background intelligence service for example that one is started because that one is set to automatic start but notice it says delayed automatic start now there's some that you know we have for um, for manual but it starts anyway so application experience starts anyway so in that case there's some of these services that you you're gonna want to not start you're gonna have to set it to disable it's interesting the Apple mobile device service I have it on disabled but it started anyway but pretty much you guys get the idea so if I uh, sort this list you can see all my services here that's actually started and uh, quite a few of them are set to automatic and now when we get further down in in the list you're gonna see a whole bunch see starting from here starting from here active X installer there's a lot of them that's not started and all of that is making my computer just that much faster and that much better I hope this could be of some help to you guys be sure to remember to visit the website pcfix411.com. Make sure you guys sign up for the newsletter. I'm giving away ebooks, audio books, video seminars, what, whatever cool stuff that comes across my desk. I'm going to go ahead and share it with you guys. Thank you for watching my video.